Welcome back to Executive Plus. Just like with cars, opinions about modifying wristwatches are just as divided. But where you stand in that debate really depends on how far you're willing to go to personalize your watch. This heated debate, of course, would have seemed silly for the first watchmakers and their clients. Customizing a watch is as old as watchmaking itself. Watch houses like Patek Philippe, for example, built their brand around these one-of-a-kind timepieces, custom-made for world leaders, tycoons, and aristocrats. In the early days, no two watches were exactly the same. But that changed when new technology made mass production possible. Although some elite brands still accept commissions to customize timepieces, the service is only available to a handful of extremely wealthy customers. For everyone else, however, there's another way to customize a watch without spending millions. It's called a watch mod. Modifying an existing watch and rebuilding it to your own design and specification. A global community of watch modders exists online, and here in the Philippines, most revolve around one particular brand, Seiko. A quick Google search will reveal a long list of Seiko watch modders in Manila. One of the more active groups is Seiko Mod Store, run by hobbyists who turn their technical knowledge and passion for the Japanese brand into a business. To be honest, every part of a Seiko watch is modifiable. Um, as long as there are modification parts that are available on a certain model. You can replace the rotating bezel uh, to make it like, for example, like a Rolex looking rotating bezel. The bezel inserts, the dials, the hands, even the crystals, um, even the movement, the watch move, the automatic watch movement, and the straps. Ev everything is uh, modifiable. In short, a Seiko watch, their sports watches especially, offer modders a blank canvas to work with. In theory, any watch brand can be modified, but because of the abundance of affordable aftermarket and spare parts for Seikos, the Japanese brand is ideal. Watch mods fall into two general categories, a full overhaul and a subtle edit. The overhaul is usually commissioned by clients who want their Seikos to look like, well, an entirely different model or brand, usually a more iconic timepiece. This mod is an homage to the Swiss-made Tudor Black Bay with its familiar bezel, dial, and snowflake hands. The most popular ones are the Rolex-looking homages, or it look, they almost look exactly as the Rolex. Like this tribute to the popular Rolex Yachtmaster, a rather complicated and pricey mod because of the many steps required and the quality of the aftermarket parts purchased to build it. With this watch, um, the original piece left from the Seiko Urchin model is the watch case. The Urchin is unique on its own, yet everything was replaced to mimic the Rolex sports watch. A total high-quality overhaul now includes a bezel with ceramic insert, sapphire crystal glass with anti-radiation tint and date magnifier. The dial, hands, crown, oyster flex band, even the movement, they're all upgrades from the original Seiko Urchin. Some are more subtly based on Swiss icons. This Submariner mod has a look of its own, though the reference to the legendary Rolex diver's watch is unmistakable. Not all mods are meant to pay tribute to iconic models. Most clients just want to play around with different combinations to create a fresh-looking timepiece. While others prefer more personal touches, like their initials or school crest on the dial. It's up to your imagination. And since I had an old Seiko watch languishing in my drawer, I asked him to modify it for me. The first try was not quite my type, though this beautifully painted dial of the Great Way by Hokusai is a very popular mod these days. The second try was more to my liking, a classic dive watch look with nostalgic appeal. Inspired by vintage models of the Blancpain 50 Fathoms, the Zodiac Seawolf, and the Seiko Alpinist. The prominent Seiko logo reminds you, and everyone, it's the Seiko, though one of a kind. I think it's just natural to want to personalize your watch, but few would consider tampering with their prized Rolex or Omega. 
especially if it's vintage. For most, the farthest it go is to merely swap the strap. The good news is, you can buy aftermarket straps in all sorts of colors and materials, some for even as low as a few hundred pesos. Better yet, have one handmade just for you. And that's what Dino Santos, a top automotive executive and vintage watch enthusiast does in his downtime to de-stress. I visited him recently in his workshop, or rather, a spare room in his Alabang home, which he transformed into an atelier for his strap-making hobby turned sideline business. The watch has a life of its own, right? The, the, the mechanical movement, the brand, the styling, but a lot of, of, um, a lot of straps um, all look the same, you know? Um, you have a nice um, vintage watch, and then you look at the strap, and the strap was made with machines. It was made with paint. It was a uh, thread and a sewing machine was used. And it, it totally gives the watch away. And I felt if you could make a strap that was worthy enough to go on those vintage watches and, and, and to go with the same era, the same, the same mold and the same look of that vintage watch, I felt that maybe, you know, maybe I could help create that and, and be part of that. Entirely self-taught, Dino learned strap making while recovering from a health crisis. With all that free time in his hands, he rediscovered the joy of leather craft, a skill that fascinated him since his days as a polo player, when he would have his leather saddles, boots, and bridles repaired. I wanted to create something and make watches of, from a single piece of leather with very minimal, mi minimal stitching, and I wanted to be able to carve the leather. Um, what was needed was very good leather. And um, the leather that I was able to use and discover was a, a, a tannery called Horween in Chicago, which uses vegetable tanning for their hide. And the, the patina, the, the way it looks, the way it crumples, and the way it goes back together after using, and the way the oil comes out is just good for me. It's the carving and, and, and the styling of the leather, giving it a waist, giving it a life. A single piece of leather like this turning out into a strap um, is just marvelous for me. That first step, however, the cutting and shaping of the leather is also the most challenging. Dino doesn't use any machines, just his hands, a pattern, and basic cutting tools to carve out a subtly curved shape so it wraps snugly around the wrist. That alone takes a lot of skill and months of trial and error, and of course, wasted leather. Other manufacturers often line their straps, but Dina prefers a single thick strip of leather, which he applies a collar dye and sealant to, before burnishing the strap with his old school machine, the only mechanical device he uses. Next, he works on the flaps that hold the watch case. Holes are punched for a needle to pass through, and fastened a fold with thread. It's almost like watching a master shoemaker. After both straps are done, they now undergo Dino's trademark customization, a strap with only three holes, the client's monogram, and his own DS brand stamp. A pair of keepers in a different leather color is another hallmark of his. That's the standard design, but a client can personalize a strap further with different shades of Horween leather and a variety of thread colors. And when people ask me, can you make me a strap? I asked them, can you send me a picture of the watch? And from that picture, I tried to create the strap that would bring the watch out. His handsomely weathered straps match perfectly with the types of watches both he and his clients own. Vintage timepieces and tool watches from heritage brands like Omega, Tudor, and Rolex. Though I think any rugged watch, even you, would do. I think basically because it's not fine, um, these are not perfect, um, they're perfectly imperfect. Uh, they, are, they have a, a lot of patina and I don't think an, a strap that looks old will look good on a brand new um, uh, watch. Uh, they're made for uh, bulky watches, they're made for vintage um, sports watches, I think. 
DS Leatherworks shows us that it's possible to personalize a watch without altering the original design. But even if you choose to modify a watch, or rebuild it from scratch in order to make it feel like yours alone, the important thing is to celebrate that piece of yourself that's now displayed on your wrist. For me, the best watch that you have is the one on your wrist. And if today's your last day on Earth, and, you, and, and if you want to select a watch that is going to be on your wrist, it's got to be your own, right? It's where you're, you know, where it really hits the heart. So that's sort of, um, for me, that's the pinnacle of you being able to customize stuff for yourself. And that's all for this episode of Executive Class. I'm David Saldran. Thanks for watching.